What is up, everyone? It's me, Base Unit, coming to you live with, I mean, no, pre recorded with some gameplay. Woo! I played Lucian like a week ago, about a week ago. I mean, a week ago, but like, dude, this, look at this new fucking skin. Who cares, right? I'm fucking cool. And you put it here. And then I show you the emails. Look at this. Wait. Yes. It... Okay, ready? This is my happy face. 30 seconds until minions spawn. Broken. I'll have no trouble killing you. And less trouble killing you again. the recall look at it oh now you just need leona right here and you just recall and in style and like oh back to back that's fucking sweet this is my favorite one though look at that boom boom um, brr, um, brr. line myself up for the double hit Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> what a strong leash. There's a chill in the air. Okay. I want to get this shoving so I get the level 2 first. Level 2 power spike. No. Take that. Lucian works like a lot of other ADKs in which you want to auto attack and then use your spell so you don't interrupt your auto and you get a little bit extra damage. I think I shoved this a little too hard in because if you get level 2 right here, like, Brom can't fucking die these guys, so. My bad. Oh god. Still got it. God, I, I leaned against Alistair being like a couple times today. Alistair is broken, dude. This champion is broken. No, why why you gotta do that to me, little mage minion? What's their jungler? Jarvan. Jarvan's pretty easy to deal with as Lucian because you just d d dash out of his combo because it's not fast enough to catch you off guard. You do good reactions. You can't be me. What the fuck, bro? A boom, a doom, a ding, a doom, a ding, a doom, a ding. Line up my Q. Boom. Uh, I took an auto. how tanky that guy is. I just hit him twice, he, he did nothing, and he's like, alright, I'll heal it back up, too. Alright. Wait. Nice. Give me that. I wish there was, like, a Project Bane. I love Bane. Give me a sweet. flashed out of that that guy was terrified of getting stunned holy shit okay should time veins flash flash at five minutes i'm just say 10 minute vein flash the 
F. Ten minutes. Ah, you can't use sustain. That's cheating. That's cheating. That's what Lucia wants to do, though. He wants to poke people with his Q and whittle them down and then take an all in. It's kind of hard against Alistar, though, because, like, his healing is pretty decent. But once you get BS Sword, it's going to be a little bit harder for them. Unless he maxes E. Tumbled right into it. No. I'm kind of scared. We don't have a trinket in the river bush, but it's okay. No. Someone's here? Yeah, someone's here. <laughs> Ooh, run for my fucking life. I have to wait for my. No. Fuck. I always tried to wait for the last second. God, that's so broken. The Jarvan hit me with his Q too, so I still took the damage, but I avoided the knockup and still died. I'm gonna go brutalize and build this game just because I feel like I can't afford going pickaxe and, and not buying as much items as I can. It's okay, the build is, is a decent. I prefer going IE and Phantom Dancer, but it doesn't matter too much. God. Oh, maybe I could have healed or lived. Yeah, I think if I healed, I would have just lived. Maybe it would have been really close. That sucks though, because we lose two waves, and I burn my flash. Okay, I think we can start showing more aggression though now, because I have CDR, so I can Q a lot more, use my skills a lot more. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. No wait, oh my god, minions, are you trolling? I'm wondering how I win this link. I, I've played against this lane a couple times. And I just lost every time. When I'm Lucian against Alistar and Bane, it seems like super duper hard because like I can't whittle them both down at all because Alistar just heals constantly. So I think we just have to catch Bane out of position and just like hope for the best with Braum. But ugh, it's so tough. This guy hit six. They both hit six. Please. They honestly should be going in on us right now because they're, they're six. We're not. That's, this is their power spike, but I think Alistar is a little bit too scared. I don't even think, like. Because uh, when you Q through the minions, of course you hit all the minions, right? So it pushes the wave. And I don't even think it's worth because, like, we can't poke Vayne down, especially when she has lifesteal and Alistar. So I guess I'll just farm until I have, like, a good all in. Why is this guy here again? Whoa, dude, he actually ganked us this far up the lane? Jesus, this guy doesn't like us. I might get dived here, honestly. If I get dived here, I'll just die. Nah, they should have dived me here. If they dive me here, Alistar tanks with all and I die. Wait, I don't have enough AD to last hit those? Oh, I do. What? What? So these guys only show aggression when they're junglers here. 
So we just gotta keep that in the back of our minds. And as soon as this Alistar walks up, probably means that Mr. Job in the Force is ready for another gank. I just wanna save for my BF sword. That's the next time I wanna look to back, to be honest. What the hell I keep canceling my auto? Whoa! Hello. <laughs> I'm getting creep blocked! Alright, not bad, we killed the fucking bee. Oh shit. He's dead. I don't have to for him. I don't have mana. Oh. Woo, picked up another kill with the culling. He's crazy. He's crazy. Yeah, he, he's pretty crazy. I'm just gonna wait for one health spot. Okay, not bad. BF Sword, Brutalizer. I have so my piercing light, which is my Q, does so much damage right now. If we just, I think if we just tag Vayne with the Q, she just dies through my burst. Th this might be the, uh, what you call it, the build that beats this lane though, because I feel like, um, I don't, I can't poke Vayne. I need to burst Vayne, and the Brutalizer gives me that little burst. They like us very much in this bot lane. <laughs> Holy shit. Damn, try poking here there? I'm I'm kinda scared. I could get dive so easily. Okay. No fuck. I wanna kill this guy too, but he's gonna lifestyle everything up before I can actually do something. Notice what I did there. I, I just totally faked her out. Like I acted like I didn't know she was in there, and she totally <laughs> fell for it. That's what I do in a lot of situations, actually. Just acting like you don't know that they're down will actually just like bait people. She was dead there no matter what, too. If she condemned me or Hectrum, like one of them catches up to her. Okay, even though we're fucking smashing bot now, I am kind of scared of this dead. So I think I need a QSS third, which kind of sucks because I don't want to do that. But if I don't do that, I'm pretty sure he one shots me every fight. Like he's doing to this poor little Yasuo. Oh, he lived. Holy shit, that was close. That I've killed them? Oh my god. On the bright side, though, everyone else is behind but this Zed. So as long as this guy, like, doesn't ult me, I think we just win. Or maybe kill this guy right here. Never mind, there's an Alistar. Stay 
I just want to go back about here. I, I don't want her to take my tower and, and me lose last hits. And a dash. I just went mid there to see if I could get anything done, like kill this guy or pressure the mid tower, but I was unable to accomplish either. No. Okay, I'm gonna shove this next way super hard. Standard way to clear the wave is, is Q the third melee minion and hit the. You hit all of the three mage minions and then you just uh, clear two of them with your passive. I go the dragon. Take this. Wait, this guy has ult again. Wait, wait, if that guy has no flash, he flashed over. Damn, they really wanted that fucking Yasuo. Oh god, maybe I can EQ? Watch this. <laughs> I love it. fucking sucked ass but didn't suck ass enough to fuck with me the base tuners the king of Lucian I'm just gonna walk be in the back of the drag pit so if shit goes bad I'm out here okay gonna go ghost play now Again, like that. If that Zed doesn't ulti me, I'm pretty sure I would just win the team fight by myself. And Hecarim is pretty big too. You probably recognize the Hecarim Stonewall. Oh, oh, eight. The YouTuber guy who does all the jungle guys. It's him. We're friends. He's cool. Woohoo! I need to go bot and push this wave out. Is Poppy dead? Family around with no harmony. Wait, that guy's crazy. What? shove this out super hard too. Cool. It's kind of my fault that I wasn't ready to defend mid because of my weight being so shit. It was like a shit ton of minions down here. Hit. Backing and hitting towards mid now. Can't believe they're actually able to defend this. Oh yeah, it is Zed. Can't really attack a tower. It's only Vayne. Okay. Going mid now. I have Ghost Blade and IE at 19 minutes, really good timings, way ahead of the game. But I think I am going to go kill such a third item. I think it's just too good to survive from the Alistar and Akali. I mean the Zed and the Akali. Oh shit, we're going in. Oh, the culling, baby. <laughs> I love it. Uh, remember, whenever you culling, uh, activate your ghost way to give you more culling damage. The way that works is uh, you shoot more little bullets, the more attack speed you have, and ghost way gives you more attack speed. Yeah, I use that to usually just dash up to that vein and just shoot her, call the shit out of her. That guy, 
is a little ambitious. No way you kill me at that health, buddy boy. What's up? It is not. I'm gonna shove bot again. This time I want bot to slow push because I think right here is where we can push mid and get that last tower. Our poppy actually got fucking huge. What the hell? The poppy king. That'll slow push because you have one wave plus three mage minions, so our wave is stronger than theirs. It won't push super fast, which is what I want. Okay. Yeah, I might not even need this QSS. I think I'm being a too scared, honestly. Because that Zed, as long as I position correctly, that Zed will never be able to ult me. And, you know, I, I think it's okay, though, because it, it can work. You can see it two ways, right? I could bet more damage and keep pushing the game, or I could play safe with this QSS. And not die and just carry my team. It's just like risk. It's risky. You get more damage, and you kill people faster, or it's safe and you don't kill people as fast, but you're not gonna die. That's what you want to do. It's your playstyle, kiddo. I need to walk through this fight. Poppy, early to the fight, I see. <laughs> Shit. That Akali was actually, like, didn't die as fast as I thought she would die, so I kind of just killed, died to her. You know what's funny, too? If that fight, if I literally didn't buy my QSS and bought a BF sword instead, I would have, pretty sure I would have uh, wiped that fight by myself. Uh, you need to... Learn this combo. I'm going to show you this combo on these golems and then buy back my BS sword. And the combo is pretty simple, but a lot of people don't do it on Lucian, and it's super duper important to maximize your damage. All right, so let's let's show you in a little bit. I'm just going to go play to get there faster. Look at me go, Naruto. <laughs> all right, all right. So this is the combo. You dash, auto attack, use your W, auto attack, and then Q, auto attack. It's super fast, so I honestly recommend you slowing that down and watching that. Remember, stash, auto, W, auto, Q, auto. Every time you use a skill, your passive gets reset. And your passive is you shoot twice. And that gives you the maximized damage you can do. Oh, God. Don't do it to her, man. What? Anyways. Push me. Not there, team. I'm not there, team. Hey, the red bug. Nothing colder than this. Champion, th isn't this skin amazing though? Like, holy shit, look at me, dude. I'm sweet. Okay, there's nothing for me to get here. I'm just gonna go bot and farm. I can't push by myself, of course. Okay. 600 gold until my wait not 600 uh which got a thousand gold oh wait it is 600 i thought this said 1590 it's not even 600 it's 500 god damn it whatever gold to my fucking butt there sir. i think i just need this and one more wave and i'll be good enough to get it but yeah i think uh lucian this matchup for lucian against vayne is okay i think lucian really likes going against people who don't have any sustain so like a jinx matchup is like that's lucian's best matchup and his worst matchup is probably someone who can easily block the q or dodge it like Callista. yep 
as I said, just two ways, and I got it. I actually want to slow push this. Remember what slow pushing is, guys? Kill the first two, and you just back off. Actually, I'm kind of terrified, because there's no one here. I, I, I should have... No, I couldn't have slow pushed this wave, because I needed the whole wave for my bloodthirster. But... If I didn't need that, I should have slow pushed that. God, this poppy is just... She's like, you, you fucking dare pick a collie against me, man. You think I'm not gonna smash you in lane? This guy has no fucking mercy. What's our red up? Minute 59. Okay, just go mid. I'm super duper strong. 26 minutes, I have three items and a QSS. Wait, he ulted? Holy shit, what? Did you just go bot here and get this free tower? Yeah. Uh, we can't really siege this well enough. Like, the only siegers on this team is me. And Lucian is not even that great of a sieger. So I'd rather just get this tower for free and then pressure Baron after this next dragon. What? I melted that guy. Go so ult me. I have QSS, man. Wait, did I QSS too early? Oh. Choking, what the hell? Where'd that guy's health go? Oh god, where'd that guy's health go? Remember, remember who to focus in these fights. I never want to focus Alistar. I always want to focus the people who are right on top of me. Like a Kali and Zed. And then secondary comes this Vayne. Aw oh, man, he's supposed to die. I mean, oh good, he lived. Wait, he's dead. Wait. Oh god. Oh god. I fucking dashed up to him like an idiot. Oh god, that was so bad. It cleanses Ignite, by the way. And then healed. What should I get? Uh, last Whisper is my last item here. Uh, after I get Last Whisper, I should change my Ghost Play whenever I have the money to a Phantom Dancer for max DM DPS itch. I'm gonna get a little elixir here too. Now you know what? I'll upgrade this dumbass trinket to you. You know, I feel like the people who prioritize upgrading their trinket should be sweepers, which is usually the jungler and the support and top and top because they like getting the extra warding on their trinket. Mid sometimes too, but I just feel like it's more important for the mid and the AD carry to prioritize their items over getting like upgrades on their fucking sweeper or whatever. That is just my opinion though, and I am just a dumbass kid who knows shit about this game. That was actually very stupid of me because I don't even have QSS yet. No, I wanted a flash. That's a clean game, baby. 
Ooh, we cleaned them. Very good. A good shit. And as always, let's show this damage dealt. Grant. A damage dealt. Oh, baby. It's me. And as always, you know, you can follow me on Twitter at BaseYuna. Tweet dumb shit every day. Like my Facebook page. Also BaseYuna. Also fucking Facebook sh dumb shit every day. I stream every day at based underscore Yuna from, and I start around two to three, and you know I end whenever the fuck I feel like, uh, and yeah, subscribe to my YouTube guys. I upload every day at one p.m. and I really appreciate it. If you guys hung around, and that was Lucian.